Today we're going to be talking about my favorite iOS 15 features. So these are the top 5 features that I picked out that personally I think honestly are the best things Apple could have done with iOS 15. Now iOS 15 was announced at their Worldwide Developers Conference earlier this month. Now it iOS 15 did seem like a very eh update. It kind of was like what iOS 12 was to iOS 11. It's bringing stability improvements, but also very little changes, but some major changes that I think are phenomenal. So to start off, we have new app icons. So we have a new app, uh, maps icon and a new weather icon. And now there's also a new camera icon. And now I don't know about you, but I personally want to see a whole redesign to iOS, kind of like iOS 6 to iOS 7, where it was such a dramatic redesign of the operating system. like. I don't, you can leave everything else the same, you can leave the control center the same, you can leave the lock screen the same, you can leave everything the same, but like, change my home screen. Thank you. Like, I don't, I don't like these app icons. I'm, I've stared at them for so long, from iOS 7 till now, that I think we should get new app icons. And I know I'm not the only person who thinks that. I know there are a bunch of people who do agree with me, because, there's, well, there's nothing wrong with these it's the fact that we've had them for so long. Everyone anticipated iOS 14 to be the be what iOS 6 to 7 was because it was 7 years later as they did from iOS 6 to 7. But hey, maybe we'll wait and see and maybe they'll do it or maybe they won't do it and they'll just minorly do the app icons as time goes on, which is what they've done. But we'll have to wait and see. So, there is also a new weather app. Now, the weather app um, currently with iOS 14 is okay. It's not phenomenal. It's not horrible. It's okay. But Apple bought Dark Sky, and they are incorporating that now built into the weather app. So you get a lot more features that you wouldn't get currently by using the new weather app on iOS 15. Now, I am personally a big fan of this because there have been times where I'm like, I need, and I'm aware I want to check the weather, and to check like the radar or something, I need a whole nother app to do so. And then I'm like, well, I'm just not going to use the iOS weather app because I need a whole nother app to just check like the radar or something. And now that is all built in directly to the weather app. And it also will give you notifications saying, hey, it looks like it's about to rain in 20 minutes. Just giving you a heads up. It'll give it to you on your Apple Watch and your iPhone. So it's great. And the next we have focus mode. So focus mode is do not disturb, taking it to a whole nother level. So I am a big fan of focus mode and do not disturb currently, but to see what focus mode is going to do, I am totally on board with it because it kind of like lets everyone know like, hey, um, I'm silencing you guys, similar to like what do not disturb while driving does, but not, but still allowing people to get to you. And also, have them say, hey, this is urgent, and push the message through while also keeping you in doing what you're doing. Now, this is, again, across every Apple device. So, to your Mac, to your iPhones, your iPads, your Apple Watch, it'll just be on all of them, which is so great because setting it on one thing, it should, in my opinion, be affected all your devices. Because if I just turn on, let's say, working on my iPhone, and it doesn't turn it on on my Mac, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting it on, I feel like. So now there's also the FaceTime improvements. So FaceTime got major updates with iOS 15 with the ability to share your screen using SharePlay. So SharePlay allows you to share music, your screen as I said before, and Apple TV content, kind of similar to what Disney does with Watch Party. And it is so cool to see that Apple is finally allowing FaceTime to do more. Because I don't know about you, but there have been times where I'm like, hey, look at this. But I'll be on FaceTime and then I can't see someone's reaction to it and everything. And it's just such a hassle because Apple didn't have like a native way to do it. And now they do. And then next on my list, we have the notification improvements. So Apple did a major thing with notifications, which kind of, in my opinion, because they redesigned notifications, I think we should have gotten redesigned applications to go along with it. They're app icons, not applications. But it's okay. So the notifications have a new look, which bring in the contact photo for messages, and they're also a lot smaller. So you can tell, they don't take up like your whole screen now. If uh, the message is one line, it'll take up just like one line on your screen, which is so great. And there's also a notification summary, which allows you to put all your notifications there. 
and just like see them. So like when you wake up, it would say like, here are the 12 notifications you missed while you were sleeping and then whatever they are. And then we also have live text. So live text is similar to Google Lens. And if you don't know what Google Lens is, it is essentially when you take a picture of something and then the your iPhone or the application allows you to copy text or interact with text in an image so you don't have to go and retype it entirely. So you can copy straight from an image on the web or an image in your camera roll or even into your email app if you want to if someone says like here's a business card to email them you could just scan a photo and it's so cool because I don't know about you but there have been so many times where I'm like oh I need this and then I'll just use like Google's photo app and then pull it from there or something but yeah then now there's also a totally redesigned maps and in my opinion, Apple had way too much time, I think, on their hands with this whole pandemic that they redesigned the whole Maps app from basically the ground up. But it's, I'm fine with it. We got a new app icon out of it. I'll take it. And there's now new experiences. And it finally is bringing, I feel, Apple Maps up a notch to where Google Maps was and kind of how it was in the past. So it's going to be a lot better. And it's also... Siri has gotten more contextually aware, so Siri is better at navigating directions instead of like, turn south in 30 feet, and you're like, what are you, what, I don't know what that is. But overall, those are the biggest features I feel coming to iOS 15. If you guys have any other ones, feel free to let me know in the comments, and well, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.